Hello everyone. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the automation process that we created in Salesforce for our client. Let me share with you the client's requirements. The client wanted to trigger an email to a particular account on specific days with different email templates. Trigger plus four days. Template name, day five template. Subject, Power Pro and on-site Yardi. Trigger plus 16 days. Template name, day 17 template. Subject, send a photo collage through Power Pro. Trigger plus 44. Template name, day 44 template. Subject, what's your favorite feature? Trigger plus 89. Template name, day 90 template. Subject, the first 90 days with Power Pro. Let me show you how we did the execution. First, let me log into Salesforce. Then we have to create a new account. In the account page layout, we have a field for selecting the type. We will choose the type client 90 day period. And then save it. Then in the next follow up field, which will be auto filled after saving the account if the type is client 90 day period only. And if we select any other type of an account, then the next follow up field will not show. Then we will go to the account object and from the data loader, we will insert a record of the previous five days from today so that we can run our scheduled batch class manually to check whether the email is sending to the contact email or not. When the record is inserted, we will open the record and change the next follow up date to today to run our batch class manually. Then we will create a contact related to that particular account which should have an email ID. To run the batch class, we will go to the developer console, then we will debug and select the executable batch class and click on the highlighted. After that, an email will be sent to the contact email ID. We will go to the account object and from the data loader, we will insert a record of the previous 17 days from today so that we can run our scheduled batch class manually to check whether the email is sending to the contacts email or not. When the record is inserted, we will open the record and change the next follow up date to today to run our batch class manually. Then we will create a contact related to that particular account which should have an email ID. To run the batch class, we will go to the developer console. Then we will go to the debug and select the executable batch class and click on execute highlighted. After that, an email will be sent to the contact email ID. Similarly, we can send the email for 45 days and 90 days as well. This process is done manually just to showcase what we have done in the project. That's all about the project. To let us know if you have any questions regarding this project in comment section below. Do you require any assistance or guidance with Salesforce development, CRM implementation, data migration, Salesforce app development and Salesforce integration. Contact Cloud Analogy, a leading Salesforce consulting partner that would give you a competitive edge by guiding you on maximizing the Salesforce CRM to its fullest potential. We offer affordable, reliable Salesforce consulting services, ensuring that our clients get the most from their Salesforce investment. Contact us now.